in South America, and for the most, actually all those teams have qualified for a land at some point. That's just the first five or six. So for, for South America, lots of talent brewing in this region. It's why when we opened up the show with Rome, I said probably one of the more exciting uh, regions to watch. And we'll see if it will be exciting for our first or our second quarterfinal in Group B. NIP taking on Not Erased. There you have 15 in. A couple of shots already coming out for NIP. Here's an attempt at another one off the backboard. Astro leaving this one for Swift. Swift off the ceiling. You see Knight lurking, and this is the player. Again, this is a, a, a player to definitely keep your eyes on because NIP is so, I think, cohesive, which is what makes them such a great roster. Their communication skills are one of the higher ones in the region. Again, you can't be a top four team without being one of those people. And also, this is one of the few teams that have ever beat Furia. So they are a force to be reckoned with. It's a challenge for not a race, but not an impossible one at that. We've seen some of these series be closer than we would have expected. So, like we keep alluding to, see if that's the case for not a race in NIP as NIP trying to get their offense going. A little double tap looming comes out to Swift and it's blocked by Davitrox right at the last second. Another shot goes high. PJ trying to hold on to it or at least gauge where that one's going to go and he gets bailed out by KNS. Not too bad here. It's a little bit slower now. Attempt to make a pass taken off by Knight back into the hands of Astro. Great shot there. Could have gone upper 90 just a bit off of it, though. That was a great shot there from Not Erased as a whole. You just got to find those opportunities again and again. Yeah, it's definitely come down to the execution in a lot of these games. Opportunities have been abound for both teams throughout the series we've seen today. Even in that Furia Gamer Legion series, a lot of opportunity for Gamer Legion. As NIP try to generate their opportunity, but Knight gets bumped off the ball. Your player to watch, as you mentioned, and a good pick as he has been explosive offensively. Another long shot coming out. Davitrox makes the save. Nostromic knows Swift's going to be the follow up, and that shot was never going in. KNS on the save. Great amount of speed on it, too, but same can be said for not erased. I like the transitions and how quickly they've been coming out here because it's the only way you're going to be able to find any sort of an opportunity against NIP right now. They're very quick to get back in time. They also play fairly deep. Right now, it's a cheat up, though. Swift tried to let that one float. You saw the lurk in the attempt. But unfortunately, it goes away and now not erased around the corner, trying to work together to get past this defense. But it is just one player at a time crushing their dreams, although nobody's been able to find their way through just yet. Is not erased. Take another shot. This one could tee up for KNS, but nothing to be found. Just under two minutes left to play. Still scoreless in the game, in the series. Of course, game one in this best of five. That one will fly out from the backfield, and that one will go in. Davitrox will get credit for it. And I thought maybe NIP was going to have someone back, as I think it was Swift who turned back for it. Or no, it was Astromic who turned back for it. It was just couldn't get there in time. It pitches towards the net, and okay, not a race on the board first. Not too bad. I mean, I did commend them earlier on it. NIP was playing with that deep third, and then the one time they don't, that's where the long on-target clear comes through and puts Not Erased onto the board. Now trying to make up for it is Knight. Great save there from PJ. And Davitrox trying to turn one goal into two as he works together to send this one forward. It's a great save from Swift. And another transition out, and he's got to follow it on extremely low boost, though. Astro to the ceiling. He sees his teammate, but PJ puts this back into the hands and not erased. So the favorites that we've picked in IP finding themselves down a goal. Just over a minute left. Really haven't seen a ton of offense from not erased, but they've done, a, done well on the chances that they have generated. Other side, NIP. Now facing some defense. Knight getting blocked off and Swift. It took all three of NIP to make that save. It was Swift at the last second to deny. This one comes across the box. No one there for NIP to put it home. And not erased, 40 seconds away from taking game one. And I'm, I'm getting a little bit curious because some of these challenges from Ninjas in Pajamas, they come in uh, 
almost with like a, a half effort. They call themselves off a lot right now and they're just waiting for an opportunity to arise. And well, there you have it. They pretty much got handed this one. It was a fall down, but PJ just bumped out of the way. They gave it to themselves. Ninjas in pajamas tie things up at 27 seconds. Very popular meta in South America, having that lead blocker, someone in front of the play to knock out that first defender. We've seen it in every single one of the series we've casted today. Every team knows how to execute it. And so far, very few defenders have figured out how to avoid it. It's definitely rough in some of those 1v1 situations. But five seconds left on the clock. One more attempt to be made. This one way too wide off of it. Astro just going to slow things down up into the air from the mid. You saw KNS already going up for that challenge, and that's a good one there. It's to slow it down. Knight, if he could get to it in time, but not quite. This one to hit the ground, our first OT in the series. First OT in the first game. Why not? As NIP, they've been ramping up their offense. They have been looking better and better in the last minute or so. Knight finds some space. Kind of getting bullied around, a little harassed, going into the midair. Air dribble. Swift will just blast this one downfield. Estrama gets a bump on the last man to follow up from Swift. On target, puts it home. NIP, a little bit of magic and a little physicality, earns themselves a win in game one. A great shout of patience is what it took from Ninjas in Pajamas to take down not a race to slow like a 9 through 11, uh, as, again, as far as on paper goes. But Not A Race has been doing an incredible job of being able to, to try and match the pace of NIP. But I do got to give kudos to one player in particular, and that is PJ. PJ defensively, really, in my opinion at least, is what kept Not A Race in that game. They're going to need his defensive ability again. Davitrox also had huge saves on the goal line or not erased. NIP really, I think, made not erased calling all three of their players at some point to deny a shot. Defensively, it's not really where I'm concerned for not erased. I'm more concerned about them generating opportunities offensively. I feel like after game one, it was close, but NIP are going to get into their rhythm. And Astromic, that's a foot percent, gets by one. KNS, we clear. Knight. Does get a hold of it, but I think not a race lucky that Knight wasn't just sitting central in midfield. And now KNS, I think, wanted to go up over the top, not going to get there. PJ blocked by Swift. It was all over it for NIP. Demos starting to come out. Double demo Swift oh my trying gosh. to force a dunk on Do it. What? In there, yeah, I have it. It's a floater in, but not as easy as that sounded. It took two demos back, and yet Swift still managed to win the technical 1v3 it was 1v2 off of it but that second touch really made sure that that was able to go on through yeah i mean the whole team the rest of his team was demoed and he had two players in front of him took a tough challenge stalled it came right back down to him put it home not a race got to be frustrated letting that one go in with the way things panned out so a 1-0 lead for nip nonetheless not a race looking to fight back 3.35 on the clock here, KNS. Just trying to slow things down around the mid. Great slick with a lot of power. PJ to match this one up into the eye. Does he have the angle off it? No, he gets taken away. Swift just to kill it down on the ground and slow it. That was a great attempt, though, at a pinch from the sidewall from Davitrox. And first opportunities are starting to come through, although the Ninjas and Pajamas defense, it is just raining today. Here comes KNS. Not a race. They're trying to get their offense going. And Davitrox, could he be the one? He'll find the bump. And PJ sitting deep, waiting for that clear to come out. You got just under three minutes left to play. It's just a one goal deficit if you're not a race. You're finding some possession, especially into that final third. Shot on target, tucks in on the far post. And not a race, finally break through. What is it? Because it felt like both players had enough boost. They had high and, well, Almost low cover. Okay, there. Astro got the boost at the last second. I, I caught that way past. I thought there was a world where it became saveable, but no. Unfortunately for them, just he went high, ball went low, not erased, went through. Tied game at 2 minutes 40. Trying to take a lead 
as this one gets sent out into the mid. Die ball game. You look at not erased. I talked about, you know, I'm not so worried about their defense. I'm more worried about their offense. That's what you want to see out of their offense. Control the midfield and follow up. When the opportunity arises, KNS puts it away and not erased. Find their lead. That's a nice patient game too, PJ, just to put that one down. But the mini double off the side, just forcing the angle, forcing it through. It's pretty much unsavable at that point. And a one goal lead has officially been extended in not erased favor. So now NIP have to respond. And I haven't had, I haven't sown too much concern into NIP. And it's certainly not panic mode right now. You're, you've got two minutes left. You're only down by a goal. Really call upon your playmaker. And I was about to point out one of the players, but then I'm like, well, you know what? All three of these guys have been a playmaker at some point so far. And we're mm -hmm. only, you know, one and a half games in. Estromic takes a quick shot on target. Swift with his goal in the previous game. I feel like Estromic's done well to be a nuisance offensively. NIP have been strong. They haven't been generating those chances as of late, at least not in game two. Pass there first. Here comes another. Stromach to the backboard. Everyone crashing it. Knight, he's going to pick to go to the backboard again. He might have thought maybe he had an option to pass to Swift 45 degrees out to the top of the box. But instead, not erased back on offense. All three players from not erased. We're bunched up just for a second there, but Reese spread out. Just in anticipation of anything that comes their way off this one, Astro pushed way far up. Knight kind of might want to spot him, unfortunately, just not quite in the way he wanted there. One left on the clock. This one off the sidewall. It's an opportunity to go in, but it goes off to the side, and you got to try again. Every shot attempt that Swift has taken has just been easily anticipated by not erased. And the demos to send everyone home allows ninjas in pajamas to kind of gather their boost and their thoughts to head forward into these next 30 seconds. That's going to be a long 30 seconds if NIP start to ramp up their offense. More not a race. That's not what you want. You don't want to pitch it towards Astromic. He's going for a couple touches off the backboard. Unfortunately, that one trickles off the bottom of his car. You might get two more tries if you're NIP. And it might be here, night denied by PJ. Maybe one more. Can they get a hold of it? It's dangerous on the not a race side, but it's KNS with three seconds left to air dribble this one away. Davatrox to flick it on. Swift trying to keep it alive, but you feel like not a race are going to be able to drop this one down. No, Astromic over the top. It's up tonight. Can he get it to the backboard? It's dropping down and no follow up in time. Not a race able to tie things up in the series. Uh, the second game, they didn't look as strong as I would have liked. Uh, but for not erased, defensively, they have been so good. And for their offense to come alive in that previous game is exactly what they needed to get back into this series. Well, now you've got game number three underway. Ninjas in pajamas trying to reclaim their series lead. And they're trying to push forward, but it look it's looking a lot more similar to game number two, which is not what you want if you're an NIP fan. Knight just trying to fend this one off, place it off into the corner. It's a great demo there for not a race to push up. And NIP for now, for now, <laughs> keep this one out. <laughs> yeah, for now is a pretty good way to put most of these plays that we've seen in all the series that we've seen as this one comes off the crossbar, just above it rather. Swift to the backboard, and nobody got a piece of it on the not a race side. NIP, I think we're shocked that that one bounced out to the top of the box. This one does just ring to the backboard. Strombeck tried to clear it away. Not a race doing a good job of preventing. Is PJ going to earn himself a goal? No, it's off the post. Chaos inside the box now. Still can't find the angle. It's a couple tough ones on the side of not a race, but they can't find the mark, and again denied NIP are somehow keeping not erased out. So unfortunate, but I do got to say the amount of pressure of, is slowly starting to wear down on ninjas and pajamas. They got to work together to break out of that half, finally are able to do so as well. Knight with a challenge off this one, even into the corner. It's not a bad idea to just start taking some shots and forcing not erased into their own half. 
Low boost. Knight just lurking, but Whoa. it's teamwork to put that one on target. Somehow, he managed to keep it out. Crazy shot. That one just coming off the crossbar for the save. Stromeg trying to put this one on target. Denied again. Not erased. They're not going to get through the midfield. It's denied by Knight. A monster block. As he takes away some boost as well, PJ, that's a heavy touch. Follow up, Estrami, he's so quick. As he puts that one away, he saw the bad touch, and he took advantage. This is what a lot of people expect from Ninjas in Pajamas, the speed and the accuracy to capitalize on the slightest of mistakes. 1-0 lead, that's a great position to be in, with, especially with how close some of these matches have been between these two. But now, not erased, looking to respond. KNS over one, even low on boost. Not enough to find the angle. Follow up, nowhere in sight. It's just a very, very slow, low boost touches from either end. NIP are happy to drag this one out if they need to. But not a race. They have been knocking on the door much more than, you know, game one, as we talked about. PJ trying to put that one on target. Once again, the, the defense holding strong for NIP. But it feels like not a race. They're getting more and more opportunity in this game. Definitely more so than you would like. If you're on the NAP side, you'd like to go back to how not a race were playing in game one, where it just felt like they weren't generating any chances. Your Swift backboard, second touch, comes down, follow up. It's wide open at that point for Astromic, and it's a 2 0 lead for NIP. The sheer amount of control from Swift. You saw him go from the right and then immediately arrow left to make sure that this one went in such a solid position to get followed up. I got to give a huge applaud to them off that play. Ninjas in pajamas up 2-0, potentially three as this one pinches on the ground. It gets sent back to the wrong person. It goes into the hands of Knight. Astro pops this one up to the backboard here. Swift just lurking on PJ. And they're just waiting to see, can you send it back? And for now, they do. 2-0 lead is comfortable here for NIP with the way this series has gone. Swift to the backboard. Swift with a second touch. He has been so dangerous on the NIP side. If he's not scoring, he's setting up his teammates in a miss. This one trickles across the box. NIP not expecting it now, not a race. You have a minute 20, a little less than a minute 20 left on the clock. You really start to think about pushing it here. I know it's just over 20% uh, 20 of the game left, but you've got to put away something. And right now, NIP pulling away. I mean, you talk about somebody having to put something away. Ninjas in pajamas are like, you know what? We're making up for whatever that game number two was in their eyes. This is how they wanted to show up in the first place, throwing down shot after shot, goal after goal, with no answer in sight from their opponents and not erased. They can't They can't generate anything. Their ninjas and pajamas are forcing them to play like they're in game number one, despite them having made so many changes. It still, it just never seems to be enough at this point. 48 seconds left and not erased, just not generating enough offense right now and they're really hoping for a mistake coming out from NIP or something to take advantage of and this could be it across the box and a dangerous opportunity KNS gets bumped out of the way nobody's making content or contact excuse me as a follow-up is there and you can't blame not erased you know you're already down three it's less than 30 seconds left you have to throw the house at it unfortunately no one came up with a touch and it's a counter attack for NIP hey no content no con context at this point or contact not a race they have none of those three things at the point at this point ninjas and pajamas it is their show it is their field their game and potentially their series with 21 seconds left to go no boost for swift still somehow this was in their favor pj finally able to take away this one goes to the backboard it's a shot on target and a great save from Swift to keep him out. Eight seconds and a four goal deficit is just not enough time even for a miracle to happen. And there you have it. Ninjas in Pajamas are officially headed to match point. That, you know, shuts everybody down who is below them in terms of ranks, right? So they're headed into this one on match point. Backs against the board. If you are not erased, it is a time to step up.
who will step up? That's the, the other question. You're going to have to step up as a team, but who individually will step up in this group stage? Remember, this is just the quarterfinals in this double elimination group stage, meaning whoever loses this is not out. They will have a second life. That the secondary games come after this one. As our opening half of the day coming to a close here soon. Estrame going to go just wide with this shot. I don't know if his teammates thought it was in or if something else had happened, but no one else could make a play. Now the passing comes out for about a race, and it's slowed down by KNS. He can't put it home. Knight trying to slow things down as he lets it go. Yeah, that was definitely a great challenge there from Knight to keep that one out and slowed down. It's a great clear as well. Astro to the backboard. This one gets put off into the mid. Knight to center up to Astro once again. And for some reason, all of Astro's shots, they just continue to go to the left and wide. And eventually, you would hope, they slowly start to make their way back over into the center. Swift trying to make any sort of an attempt at a play. But unfortunately for them, it's a big clear. And Ninjas in Pajamas got to start over. Knight to the backboard. Another save from Not Erased. test from Swift there just to keep this play semi alive for NIP. You felt like uh, not a race for going to start to slowly make their way out. But NIP have locked them in. Even if these, lo these lobbed clears to the backboard like you just saw, they create a real big problem for not a race. And you're seeing what happens. So much space opens up. They can't get a good clear. It, it trickles back out to NIP and they take advantage again. Davitrox can't get that one out. Swift, who else to place at home top shelf? They tried their dearest to make any sort of connection with that ball to clear it, but unfortunately for them, it was just over. Not enough boost to make a touch on it. And now Ninjas in Pajamas quickly looking to turn this one back into two. It's a great save on the goal line and out, but pressure doesn't stop there. Still trying to work together to put this one towards that net, and they're doing so. One of the bigger clears there from Not a Race, but again, that midfield line for now has been pretty much in control of Ninjas and Pajamas this entire time. This is one of the first breakouts we've seen in a while. And as soon as it started, it ended. It takes a big pinch to clear out. But again, it's like I said, it continues to fall into the hands of Ninjas and Pajamas every single time. It's just a 1-0 lead here. And NIP, they've done well to boil this game down to solo plays and counterattacks and not allow not a race an easy goal but ooh, KNS gets through one, is demoed but you see here NIP again, just taking a solo play into the first defender, whoever wants to challenge, you know, seeing where this tackle is going to end up and then adapting to that they're not trying to set up anything, they're not trying to outwit themselves, just allowing things to develop, staying behind the ball as much as they possibly can and if the opportunity arises, they're definitely going to take it. Don't mistake this for just turtling up. They're just being smart right now and waiting for the opportunity to arise. Absolutely. They're definitely playing a little bit more of a patient game, especially when you know that NIP has been pretty, pretty accurate and on target with a lot of what their plan has been. You kind of almost have to just wait for them to slip up, cheat up a little bit. You know, we saw one time uh, in games past where Not a Race noticed that cheat up on that third man, and it was just a long clear that gave them their goal opportunity, right? So playing the patient game doesn't always have to be a bad thing. It's a little bit slower on this one now. PJ and Davitrox working together to try and get out, but now bunched up too close. Slows this play down maybe more than they would wow. like, but it's not enough to stop PJ from bobbing and weaving and finding his way through. I mean, uh, Swift is breakdancing in front of him trying to get this <laughs> clear out, but it, it doesn't really go past PJ. And PJ just kind of sits there and says, well, that's not impressive. And then takes advantage and beats the whole team on the air dribble. Well done from PJ. As Ninja Pajamas give up their one goal lead. They were trying to close out this series, but not a race looking to extend it. I feel bad for laughing off that one, but honestly, PJ just being so calm in a situation that honestly looked extremely chaotic is is a good thing for not erased, right? If you can force ninjas and pajamas into the, the into that state of chaos a little bit and you can be the one to remain calm, that's where those new opportunities are finally going to arise. No connection though from Davitrox on this one. PJ trying to put this one up, but Knight takes it away. 
It's a big clear on target off the crossbar and Swift and the rest of the team just working together to keep this oh. one in. It's so many shots, but my goodness, that fourth player, the crossbar really has just been what has kept this at a tied game. Yeah, that was a free shot really for NIP. I mean, of course, not a race we're in the net to make a save, but no one was up to challenge. Now Stromig trying to get the bump. Follow up just goes wide. KNS running out of boost, but he does get it to the side while Swift trying to clear things up. But not a race. Might have an opportunity here if they can bring this one down. They do. PJ, can he work his magic? Over to Davitrox. Two seconds left and not a race. Back into the lead. It takes teamwork to make this dream work, and that is exactly what we were given from Not Erased. Pure patience, calm and collected to work together to get through on this one. Two seconds on the clock, you gotta have a kickoff goal, some sort of a strat to go in your favor, but this hits the ground. Not Erased take game number four, and we... And it worked. You, you know, you're forcing that last man to commit on a challenge. And if you've got two people going up against one, chances are you've got better odds. And that's what Not Erased gave themselves, the better odds. Game number five officially underway. And, well, Ninjas in Pajamas looking to get back into the series. Certainly have to, as this would be the last game of the series tonight. The back four, Astromix there, and well, you asked for it, Herc, and you will receive NIP back into the series, back into the game, and in the driver's seat. I mean, they're dishing out what they just got handed at the end of that game number four. Similar play styles working together, it's, although this time a pass from the top of the ceiling all the way down low on the ground. But Ninjas in Pajamas, early goal lead, that's what you like to see if you are a fan of them. The, the bigger question is, how soon does it take Not Erased to respond? Because what we've noticed in the past, the pattern is once Ninjas in Pajamas are on the board, it is it feels almost impossible to break down that defense enough to get back into things. Uh, that's certainly true. It has felt that way. But for NIP, I, look, I really look towards Swift. He's been such a great playmaker, and he's been so clutch for them. When they've needed big goals, he's come through, whether it's the score or the passing. So for NIP right now, they don't have to worry about that. They need to worry about their defense. PJ breaks through again, and in the first minute, we've got one goal apiece, not a race, but just a monster clear. And PJ just taps it home, a little misplay from NIP. Unfortunate for them, but not unfortunate for not a race tied game. I do love to see it though. That was my biggest fear for them was how quickly would it be able uh, to take them to respond. Another oh goal coming through just as quickly, just mere moments after the initial. And I'm trying to see how this, it's just, well, too fast and over that last defender there. It's, it's a terrible sight to see when you're that last man back, especially right off a of kickoff. And <laughs> the player taking the shot has like the full field of run up to get into it and pick their their spot on the net. And that's exactly what just happened. Not erased up by one. We talked about not erased early on, or well before we got into the series and saying, oh, we're interested to see how this roster, the makeup of this team will be. Going up against a darn good team in NIP. And right now they're they're dancing right along with them. Yeah, they definitely have done uh, an incredible job of being able to keep up with ninjas in pajamas. And I'm sure there there is a world where, yes, this was going to be close, but I don't think many people expected it to be this close. KNS off the backboard. Enough boost in the tank to make the angle. And finally, we see KNS get in on the action and not erase, extend their lead by two. Yeah, you know what? Just in my head, I'm just thinking about Dazarin saying, hand down, man down. There, Nobody <laughs> put a hand up when that ball comes from midfield to then hit the backboard. And when you don't put a hand up, you're going to give up a goal. Nobody there. And maybe we're going to return the favor from Knight, follow up from Astromic. He's got a free net to shoot on. And again, if you're not going to put a hand up, somebody's going to put it on target. 
Oh my gosh. I just, I like the speed of this follow up too. It was just the last two defenders were so low on boost from trying to make the initial save, which in turn, granted, was successful. But if you are prepared to make that cheat up, to make that follow up, to make sure that all goes through, your odds have increased significantly. And Swift, well, almost turned this into a tight game, but PJ, the one to really step up for not erased to keep this one out. Still plenty of time in this game. And a lot of time, really, in this game. Over half the game left. NIP only down by a goal. But it feels like not erased have really picked up their pace. And the quality of shot has gone up. Especially after their first goal, they have really picked apart NIP. NIP breakout. Or is it going to be KNS? That one's wide. The Stromic plays this one off his backboard and tries to find a way out, but it's Davitrox who was instantly up for it. Didn't really pan out for his team as the touch went errant. And now NIP again, just a little too heavy across the box. Astromic was there to make a play, but the pass just went over his head. I gotta give props to Not Erased. They've covered this backboard so incredibly well, which has taken a lot of the attempts that Ninjas in Pajamas have away. A lot of the times they do try and take it up to that backboard or at least to the ceiling and pass down to each other. There's another attempt and PJ just already prepared for the interception off of it. Knight low on boost, so that pass and play is gonna go away and instead it's a big clear for Not Erased. In to that blue half there, it's just a small bit of a reach up and sends this one out into the corner. Great cut by PJ, but just, just lost it the last second when he tried to whip around. Now the pass over to Knight. Knight needs to put this one in a dangerous spot. He does. Swift, the clutch playmaker again, comes up big for NIP. And what a touch from Knight to keep that play alive. Swift to place it home. And we're all tied up with a minute 16 left on the clock. That was absolute team effort. All three players of Ninjas and Pajamas getting in on that one, working together to get around the defense, finally coming out successful. And just over a minute left to go. Tied game, slowly but surely becoming a shootout. As Astro tries to get back in time, he does a demo, sends Davitrox all the way home. They can't clear further than mid right now, and Davitrox already back in on the action. Swift to slow down, and the demos from Not Erased, that could be what finally puts them through. Still time. Oh my, Knight pickpocked this one. Ooh. Double tap from Knight! Is it good Knight to Not Erased? He snatches this one out of the grasp of KNS and ensures it finds the back of the net special delivery. The one time Not Erased doesn't have that backboard covered, the space in which he had to play with, it just opened up every opportunity in the world. Ninjas in Pajamas on the board, in the lead, looking to extend, Knight over one, this one to the back. Swift over to the side here, 30 seconds left on the clock, although low boost, you still are in a one goal lead. Not too bad a shout for Ninjas in Pajamas. Out of race needs something. Is that what on target it is? And that was not the something they needed. You couldn't give up another goal. 17 seconds left and oh, just a big miss from Davitrox. Now it comes down her to the kickoff. You, you have a little bit of buffer here, but you gotta score with time left on the clock. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a really big indication of what the rest of this could look like here. 14 left, opportunities are quickly going away as the clock winds down. And at the end of the day, what we are seeing in these last few moments are the sheer level of experience that Ninjas in Pajamas have. They are able to stay cool, they were calm, they were collected, they came